Bangladesh has been a hotbed of innovations in tackling poverty. BRAC, a development organization founded by Sir Fazle Hassan Abed in February 1972, has been a pioneer and a catalyst for change in the struggle against poverty. We learned there's no single cause of poverty. That is why our holistic approach to development uses many tools like microfinance, education, healthcare, legal services, community empowerment, and more. BRAC is built around an understanding that women are the most influential change makers for societies in development. Today, we're one of the world's largest development organizations, active in around a dozen countries, providing tools that millions use to better their lives. Our microfinance program revolutionized the idea of finance for the poor in the 1970s when we began working with poor rural women. I am the first time I am in the first Initially aimed at encouraging self-employment, our microfinance has widened to include small enterprise development taking advantage of the multiplier effects of employment generation. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. I was able to get a loan for $10,000. बिना के दे एक तो शुभित है ऐसे वैसे ना डॉक्टर एक फोन दिले डॉक्टर ऐसे हमारे गोरू के देखा जाए दूध दिले परे छप्पता छप्पता है मुनकर लोग उठा कर दे दे बाकी पुनो कार्बन ना है। Today we're one of the world's largest financial service providers to the poor, working actively in eight countries. For BRAC, community ownership is both a principle and a strategy. We formed citizen action groups known in Bengali as Polli Shomaj to strengthen the voices of the poor, creating a platform for rural civil society and government to work together to meet local development challenges. Women in these groups speak with pride about stopping illegal underage marriages through discussion and conflict resolution. BRAC pioneered the training of community health workers in the early 1970s, in Bangladeshi villages where BRAC operated, we began working with and through a shebika, the Bengali word for volunteer or promoter, a local woman who provides door-to-door -door education and services in health, hygiene and family planning, while selling essential health commodities. These community health providers now number more than 100,000 in Bangladesh and work in six other countries. BRAC's interventions on maternal and neonatal health helped Bangladesh halve its maternal mortality rates in the last 20 years. This puts the country on track to achieve the fifth of the UN's Millennium Development Goals. Other health interventions include nutrition, family planning, eye care, as well as taking TB and malaria detection and treatment door to door. <laughs> BRAC is the world's largest private secular education provider with more than 1.1 million students enrolled as of 2012. Our schools offer a second chance to children left behind by formal school systems due to poverty, displacement and discrimination. Teaching children to think for themselves at their primary and pre-primary level rather than relying on outdated systems of rote memorization, the schools are run with the active support of the communities they serve, with school teachers chosen from among local women who are trained and ensure quality. The success of this alternative schooling model has spread from Bangladesh to six other countries. Mainstream secondary schools in Bangladesh have started using our e-learning methods. Our secondary and university scholarship programs provide support to talented students, and multi-purpose community learning centers promote reading in communities across Bangladesh using mobile libraries. Today, we're giving increasing attention to adolescents and youth, offering life skills and livelihood development training.
with 275,000 members as of 2012, our adolescent clubs are safe places where girls learn the importance of good health practices, conflict resolution, self-confidence, delaying marriage, avoiding pregnancy, and staying in school. Operating in Sierra Leone and in Bangladesh, our human rights and legal services program depends on the services of more than 6,000 barefoot lawyers. It is likely the largest NGO-led legal empowerment program in the world. We address issues around sexual harassment, improve gender relations within families, and combat discrimination and violence against women. We provide services to migrants, giving them easy access to services that help them avoid exploitation. BRAC's Ultra Poor program was born from the recognition that certain groups living at the bottom 10 to 15 percent of developing societies are too poor to benefit from market-based solutions like microfinance. The program offers an intensive two-year course of livelihood training and handholding. A greater percentage of these women now feel socially included and get access to formal and informal financial services. Recognizing its success, the Ultra Poor program is replicated by other institutions in eight other countries. We have recently launched an integrated development program to serve the most deprived communities who are socially and geographically excluded from mainstream development. With a coordinated version of BRAC Health, education, microfinance, and social development programs. Operating in eight countries, our agricultural programs work with governments to ensure food security. We build systems of production, distribution, and marketing of quality seeds at fair prices that bridges the last mile to rural farmers. Our disaster management programs work with communities to improve their response to natural disasters, with weather forecasting systems, disaster resilient housing and mobile salination plants. We've reached more than 38 million people in Bangladesh through our water, sanitation and hygiene program, which works to break the cycle of contamination caused by unsafe drinking water, unhygienic latrines and poor hygiene practices. We renovate and provide communities with new technologies to ensure access to safe water supply and sanitation facilities while our advocacy campaigns, social marketing, and formative research activities promote good hygiene practices across communities. About half the surpluses generated by our 18 social enterprises help fund the expenditure of our development programs in Bangladesh, while the rest is reinvested in the enterprises themselves. Dividends from BRAC investments support the financial health of the organization and reduce our dependency on donors. BRAC is often its own fiercest critic. Our research division assures the quality of our work, provides evidence and inspires innovations across the organization. In 2002, BRAC put its years of experience to work for communities beyond Bangladesh. Today, we are working in nearly a dozen countries around the world with solutions born in the South. We're the largest NGO in Afghanistan, serving more than 4.7 million people with programs in healthcare, economic empowerment, and education. People are poor because they're powerless. Our job as a development organization is to create enabling conditions for poor people to do things themselves and be actor in history in changing their own lives and conditions. And I think it is our duty to try and help in other societies, other cultures, other people, so that they can learn from Brex experience and uh, do the right thing for the development of their own country. One man's vision and the efforts of many has turned BRAC into the largest development organization in the world. Our interventions create an ecosystem in which the poor have the chance to seize control of their own lives. Our work now touches the lives of an estimated 126 million people. We remain true to our vision of a world free from all forms of exploitation and discrimination, where everyone has the opportunity to realize their potential.